So Peter Drucker, uh, you know, who has like fabulous quotes, um, he talked about, you know, so great leaders make people's strengths effective and their weaknesses irrelevant. And, uh, and, and as he was talking about that, the reason he was talking about it was about this idea about continuous learning. It is so easy, as we talked about a few months before, to be consumed by the action items of today or the tyranny of your inbox or the next thing that you don't take the time to think and reflect. And it's crucially important. You can't stay abreast if you're only focused on the time horizon of like the next hour of your life. And so, you know, what are you doing to embrace and the idea of a continuous learning? Are you making sure your team is embarked upon continuous learning? Are you personally doing it? You know, there's the old adage about, do you set aside executive time? And, and we all go, yeah, 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 that's like a good thing to do. But if you don't, you'll fall behind. And sometimes you need to keep put structures in place to help make sure that that happens, right? What can you do to put discipline in your life that you're going to read and you're going to study and you're going to talk to people? You're going to talk to different people so you get new ideas and only don't get feedback from the same circle of people. What are you doing to build a bigger network, to have mentors and things like that? There's a thousand things you could do. You could just decide to read a book every month. You know, you could decide you want to go to a conference that you've never been to before so you get some fresh ideas. In a couple of my last jobs, I did a thing called Expanding Horizons where I would get together my leadership team. And uh, we had a couple of great professional facilitators that helped me with it. But we would read a book. We'd read a leadership book and then we'd spend a day and talk about that book. And so, like five times a year, you know, people go, wow, you spent a whole day five times a year? How could, you, how could you stop work like that? Well, you know, of all the hours that people work in a year, five days a year, it's not that big a commitment to help make a team work effectively together. So it begins with this conversation about a book, which keeps it sort of separate from you, forces you to read, forces you to think, forces you to converse in a way that's safe so people can open up. But the conversation can then shift to how did what you learn affect what you might do next? And the conversation goes from a low trust, you know, non-forward leaning kind of conversation to a conversation that's about learning and growing together. And fabulous things came out of there. Not one about the discipline about just like reading and learning and growing, but the other thing is about the, the importance of making a team really be melded together. Mm -hmm.